Hi, I'm Simon Mesca from the Salvation Army Croc Center, and in this video, I'm going to show you a few things you can do while you're at home, kind of work on your foundation and do some maintenance work. So uh, we're going to do some rolling, some self-massage, some stretching, some activation work, and some integration, kind of putting it all together. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is rolling or self-massage. What this is good for is to help relax all those tense areas that you might have. Uh, what you can use, uh, right here I have like two lacrosse balls kind of taped together. You can use a tennis ball or anything, really anything hard that you can help massage and kind of push in. So Brian's here to help me demonstrate. What I'm going to have him do is we're going to start from the bottom up and he's going to do the bottom of his feet. So he's just going to place his foot right on top and he can gauge how much pressure he's putting in and he's just going to roll nice and slow back and forth looking for any particular tight spots and if he does find any of those he's going to stop and just let that muscle relax. So he's just going to work the whole foot from the front right before the toes all the way back to the heel. He can find any tight, any sore spots in there. And then left and right as well. And you spend 20, 30 seconds, really up to you, going back and forth, maybe eight reps, however you want to do it. Just spend as much time as you need getting that full bottom of that foot relaxed. All right, and this is going to help relieve any tightness that you, and soreness that you might have on the bottom of the foot uh, while walking or running or even soreness in the calf. Okay, so next up we're going to do the calf itself. So Brian, I'm going to have you get on the ground and you want to put that right underneath the leg here. Yep. And then Brian has put his other leg on top so he can have more pressure if he needs it. If you need less pressure, if that's a little too painful, you can take that leg off next to it and uh, roll that way. But then he's going to prop himself off, his hips are up, and again he's rolling nice and slow, trying to find any particular tight spots, painful spots. And again if he does, he's just going to stop, let that muscle relax, and then continue moving. So you want to get the inner calf, outer calf, all the way to, to the top of the calf, below the knee, and then as low as you can go, on the top of the ankle. Awesome, Brian, why don't you get the other leg real quick. Awesome. Okay, again, he's just going to spend as much time as he wants on that. But I'm going to have him move to our next one, which is going to be the top of the quad. So what Brian's going to do is he's going to take both hands and he's going to put as much pressure as he can into it and just roll. Again, nice and slow. Really get in there, Brian. There you go. Find the tight spots. Uh, the particular tight spots might be kind of towards the knee a little bit. And then he's getting a little bit to the side of that lateral quad. And that's going to help the knee a little bit more. So those tight spots again are going to be like towards the knee a little bit or all the way back almost right where his hips at. But he wants to make sure he gets all the way to the top and the bottom as much as he can. There we go. All right, let's move on to the upper body. Let's start with the back. All right, so we're moving on to the back. So again, we're gonna use that same two hand pressure right to the chest, and he wants to get into the upper corner in here. Again, apply as much pressure as he can. And that's really gonna help release that pec major and that pec minor, and help keep that shoulder from always being tilted in, and shrugged forward. Again, keep rolling, find some tight spots, stop, let that muscle relax, and then move on when you're ready. All right, Brian. Okay, let's move on to our last one. Is going to be the trap or the back of the neck. So what I'm going to have Brian do is put it on the back, about right here, Brian, and try to get as much pressure and kind of dig in there. Might be a little bit easier if you just try to use one and also not have a, a hood. <laughs> So he's really gonna dig in, kind of where he's at the neck, and then also a little bit lower there, Brian. Yep. Let me 
grab this for you. you feel that? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I feel that. And then it's all in there. So it's gonna be a lot easier if you have one ball versus the peanut that we have here to really be able to dig into that particular spot. Okay? And same rules as the whole, the whole time, just roll nice and slow, find a tight spot, stop, let it relax, and continue on when you're ready. All right, so that was the foam rolling portion. So let's move on to stretching. So our first stretch, I'm gonna have Brian scoot up on the wall, both hands, and we're gonna have one leg back. Good, and we wanna get that back leg nice and straight, heel on the ground, and we're just gonna push our hips forward, get a good stretch in the back of our calf, on our back leg. Gotta make sure that heel stays on the ground. And we wanna hold these stretches anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds at a minimum. Two minutes at a max. Good, and let's go ahead and switch legs, Ryan. Good stretch all the way through here. Maybe he feels it most in the back of his knee. Maybe you'll feel it most kind of in the heel, Achilles area. Maybe you'll just feel it like dead center in the calf. Wherever you're gonna feel it, just gonna hold it there. And again, let that muscle relax. Get a good stretch in. All right, Brian, next up, we're gonna go to the hamstrings. So I'm gonna have Brian put his leg up, kind of toe up, and I'm gonna have a slight bend in his knee. There you go, and he's gonna bring his chest down to his knee as far as he can. And he should feel that in the hamstring, right on the bottom of the thigh there. Or if his calves are really tight, he might feel it there as well. But he's just gonna hold that nice, gentle stretch. It doesn't have to be strenuous. We're trying to get those muscles to relax. So if we're going too hard, those muscles kind of fight back a little bit too much and won't let you relax. So Brian here, getting a good stretch. Again, 20 to 30 seconds at a minimum. All right, go ahead and stand up, Brian. Let's get that other leg real quick. Toe up, his knees bent, bringing his chest into it, balancing as best as he can. Good, all right, let's move into our next stretch. So this is going to be a glute and kind of com combination of a hamstring stretch. So I'm gonna have Brian sit down with his front of his leg up and that other leg back off to the side, out of the way. And then he's gonna bring his chest down to his shin. And he's keeping that front leg, that shin portion perpendicular to his shoulders. And here he's able to get the glute or the butt and the hamstrings as well a little bit. Good, go ahead and switch legs, Brian. All right, cool, that's what I'm gonna show you guys for the legs. Let's move on to the torso and the upper body. Okay, so we're gonna do a thoracic stretch, in particular the cobra pose for anyone who takes yoga. So I have Brian in a tabletop position and he's come down. Yeah, go ahead and get uh, tabletop position, Brian. Good, and start over. And now he's gonna bring those hips down to the ground, keep his arms straight, and really try to uh, create as much uh, stretch as he can in the ab portion. So he's getting a good stretch there. You might feel it in the lower back as the lower back's kind of compressed and stretching a little bit in that area as well. Again, he's going to hold that anywhere 20 to 30 seconds. Good. All right, right. Let's uh, move on to the upper body. All right, so the last stretch we're going to do is a pec stretch, and uh, pretty easy to do this one. All you have to do is find something you can put your arm on. So I'm going to have Brian come over, put your arm on, and then just kind of turn away from where he's holding on to. Go. and he's turning and both feet are faced away or pointed away where his head is and he's just getting as much stretch in here as he can so he might feel in the chest shoulder even in the biceps a little bit if that's the tightest he's at all right so that ends the stretching portion now we're going to move into the activation exercises that'll help the right muscles firing in the right way all right, so the first activation exercise we're gonna do is called a glute bridge. And what I'm gonna have Brian do is he's laying on his back and then he's gonna bring his heels up. And then he's gonna bring his butt up as high as he can and he's just gonna hold it there. Anywhere from 
I'd say a minute to 90 seconds is good, and it just allows the, the muscle there to kind of activate and realize that it needs to be the one to do the most do the most work. And that muscle is going to be our gluteus maximus, that butt muscle right there. And then your feet placement do matter. So the closer in you have your feet, the more you're going to be using the top of your legs, your quads, and the farther out they are, the more you're going to be using your hamstrings or the bottom. And we really don't want to focus on either, so get them in a comfortable spot where neither one is working too hard, so we can focus the most on the hips. So Brian's just going to keep reminding himself to shove his hips up as high as he can, really squeezing the glutes. Again, just holding that anywhere from a minute to 90 seconds. All right, so the next activation exercise that we're going to do is for these uh, scapular muscles. So what I'm going to have him, Brian, do is come into a tabletop position. He's gonna put as much pressure into the ground with his hands as he can, keeping his arms straight, and he's gonna just move himself backwards. So he's using his hands to kind of push himself back, nice and slow, and slowly back up, kind of reset. Good, really push those hands in the ground, and push, 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 he's coming back. Do 15 to 20 reps of that, just one set. Really focus on that upper back and those shoulder blades really doing all the work, trying to push yourself back. Great. Yep, that's good, Brian. All right, so we got our extra activation exercises in. Let's move into kind of putting it all together and kind of integrating everything we've done. So I'm gonna have Brian doing some squats to start off. So he's just gonna sit down, arms up, and stand up. Back down. And up. And you can get your box as low or as high as you want, or take it away all together. Get as low as you can. And just give me three sets of 15. Should be good. good. Notice you should be focusing on those hips, those glutes. They should be firing. Look how much uh, ankle flexion he has down here. We really worked on that with the, the foam rolling and stretching. So he's in some really good movement patterns as he does his squats. All right, let's move on to a single leg RDL. Just gonna have you right here, Ryan. So what he's gonna do is stand on one leg and he's gonna keep his torso and leg straight in line. And he's just gonna lean forward, balance, hinging at the hips. And he's gonna stand up nice and slow. And then back down again. And he's only gonna get it as low as he can. He can bring his heel up. So if his heel stops going up, he's gonna stop going down and he's gonna come back up. So the very last exercise we're gonna do is just a push up. So I'm gonna have Brian get on the ground. He could do a normal push up, he can do on the knees. He can go up to the wall and do a wall push up if he wants. And what I want him to focus on is those shoulder blades, his core, making sure his core is tight and his elbows, we don't want them flat out, we want them more at a 45 degree angle. Good. Take it down nice and slow, as slow as you can, back up, good. Pause, back up. Again, three sets of 15, and we're really focusing kind of on the upper back, making sure that we're not letting the ground push us back, we're staying nice and strong in a good neutral position at the shoulder. All right, and that was good, Brian. Thank you very much. All right, and that wraps up our workout. So that's a nice, easy uh, workout where you're just working on kind of the maintenance and kind of the foundation of the body to put you in a good position to do any other activity that you want to do.